Welcome back, Grade 11s. Now let's look at our applications question. Okay, the first application question is identify the type of business reports used by Mangete consultants in each statement below. They wrote a document that describes the nature of the business and the business financial background. So here's a document that describes the nature of the business and the business financial background. So which type of report is that one represented by Mangete? So because it describes the nature of the business as well as the financial background of the business, we would say this is a business plan. Uh, the next question says, Zwane, the manager, uh, submitted a document that outlined the processes, data, and findings of a systematic investigation. So our key word here would be investigation. So which report has to do with investigation? So obviously that would be our research report because we have to investigate in order for you to get the findings as well as the data. Now let's move on to the second question. Advise Mangeta consultants on other two types of written information. So here's the term again, other. If it says other, it simply means that the business plan that we've discussed about as well as the research reports that we have identified in the first question, we must not uh, discuss them on this question. Uh, informational reports. Informational reports provide stakeholders with data or information relating to certain events and does not include any additional inputs. So as the name says, informational reports. These are reports that has to do with information. It has to do with informing stakeholders rather than wanting feedback from them, rather than wanting any inputs or ideas. It's just information. Informing them about certain events that took place in the business or certain activities that took place in the business. So we have our informational report. Then we have analytical reports. Analytical reports help management to evaluate business decisions based on data or information uh, collected. So obviously when we have analytical reports, analytical, we've analyzed, analyze the findings, make recommendations for the findings, and then give to management. It has to do with evaluating business decisions whereby you analyze them and thereafter make recommendations for those particular decisions. Then we move on to our third question. Discuss factors that must be considered when composing a flyer. You need to decide on the main theme of the flyer. So when you compose a flyer, the first thing that you need to decide on is the main subject of the flyer. Make the central theme eye-catching or appealing to the reader. So you need to make sure that the subject or the main theme of the flyer is eye-catching so that the reader can be attracted to continue reading the flyer. The flyer should consist of both graphics and words. So the flyer must not only contain images, it also needs to have words so that a person can be able to read and understand exactly what message are you trying to portray in that particular flyer. So obviously on a flyer, because it's just a piece of paper, you need to make sure that you limit the number of words. It mustn't contain too much words or many words in them because obviously the reader won't be interested in reading so much from a flyer. So it has to have those limited number of words. Then we have our fourth question that says, advise Claudia on how she should respond to questions in a non-aggressive and professional manner. So the first thing would be for Claudia to listen carefully to each question and write down key words of the question. So when responding to questions in a non-aggressive and professional manner, Claudia should make sure that listen Firstly, and then take down the key words from the question so that she will be able to answer, not assume. Think, give the person who's asking a question a chance to finish the question and thereafter, while they are asking, you write down the key notes and then you respond to the questions that have been, have been posed. Answer clearly 
and calmly and keep responses brief uh, brief so we need Claudia need to make sure that when she answers she answer clearly answer the question and not assuming what the question was answer clearly and must be calm you must not be aggressive when answering a question or answer a question as if you are in a hurry and also make sure that the response is brief because when you start explaining a lot that when that that's when the confusion starts and the audience will no longer be interested in what you are saying because you do not want to represent the presentation that you have done, but instead you would want to answer the question that was asked. So you need to keep the answers short. Remain professional, polite and calm at all times. So you need to make sure that even if a provocative question has been posed to you, you remain calm, you remain polite and make sure that you keep that calmness at all times of your presentation because you wouldn't want to jeopardize your presentation by just one question which you felt was a uh, provocative so you need to be polite and calm because at the end of the day when you are doing a presentation you are representing a business so i hope and wish that you have learned a lot so before we even wrap up our lesson let us just take another breather and we will be back